In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, my beloved, today we have again the Sunday resurrection of the Lord, and at the same time we're having a celebration of St. Mary, Maria Magdalene, Madeline, St. Mary Madeline, equal to the Apostle Maria Magdalena Maria, and she was possessed by seven devils, and when she, and then she was suffering so much, and when she she heard about the Lord and how he made the miracles and cast out demons. She followed him and he cured her. He took away all the, the, the evil spirits from her and she started to follow her. And her heart went out with such a love for her, for she truly loved him with all her heart, might, mind and might and all her soul and served him. My beloved, she came from a, a wealthy family and so she was able to serve her. But then let's go to the reading of the epistle of the gospel today. The gospel today is where the Lord, he was a person, a man that was weak in all his muscles and all his arteries or whatever it is that he couldn't he couldn't get up he couldn't move he was he was like paralyzed he, he, was, he was he was so weak and the Lord when he saw him his heart went out to him and he said may your all, all your sins will be forgiven. May your sins be forgiven. And the learned persons then they said, He's blaspheming. Who can forgive sins except God? Of course, they didn't know that He was God and He is God. And He says, Well, do so that He knew their mind. Of course, He knows all of our mind and He knew, knows what is going on in us, in our mind. And when He read their mind, what they thought, he said, what is it easier? Is it easier to say thy sins are forgiven you or to say get up and walk? But so that you will know that the Son of Man has the right to forgive sins. And I, and I will tell this man, and he told him, get up and walk. And he was able to immediately spring up as if he was a, a young person. With, he had no ailment whatsoever and started to walk. And everybody was amazed at such a power that the Lord had given to uh, this man, uh, Jesus. My beloved, he is the creator of all universe. He came to show us his love because he saw we couldn't cope with the enemy that's always attacking us and always trying to get us to do one sin or another. And we couldn't cope with it. He gave us law. He sent us prophets. He did all kinds of things for us so that we'll fight the temptation of, of the sins. But we were fooled constantly by the enemy. So he came to show us the way. He show, he came to show the life of humility in our life and to lead in such a way that we could be strong against the evil one. But he promised that he'll be with us all the time. And that's why he had given us this example, including of the Saint Mary of Egypt. I mean, Saint Mary of Magdalene, not of Mary of Egypt. We don't want to mix them up. There are two different persons. My beloved Saint Mary of Egypt. She was the first one to come and tell the apostles of the resurrection. She became the apostle to the apostles, and she had told them that Christ is risen. Of course, they didn't believe her first and so on. But finally they did believe and, and the Lord appeared to St. Peter and appeared and then to, to and everyone. And my beloved and the Holy Church tells us that there's at least 500 people in Galilee that were that had seen the Apostle and that seen the Lord himself being resurrected. My beloved Mary and Magdalene, the equal to the apostle, uh, that she had went over even to Italy and to Rome, and she had uh, appeared before the emperor himself, Tiberius the first, and she had uh, greeted him with uh, saying that Christ is risen, and gave him a uh, egg that, in some tradition, they say has become uh, red, it turned red, in, right in front of the, uh, the uh, emperor, and she explained. 
came to him and told him that the the, the Lord the resurrected himself after he was crucified unjustly, was crucified by the, with the permission of the Pontius Pilate, and the, the the emperor actually had believed in the in in the what the Saint Mary Magdalene had told him about Jesus Christ, and he even wanted to put in into this country, the, into his uh, uh, empire, that uh, everybody should worship also Jesus as God, because they were uh, pagans and they were collecting all kinds of gods from all kinds of countries that they were conquering, and, uh, and they were uh, accepting everybody as, as God. But the Senate refused to accept uh, Jesus Christ as, as uh, also one of their gods. But he has become a believer and he ordered that anyone who is going to be persecuting or going against the Christians is going to be severely punished. My beloved, Saint Mary Magdalene went and she had went to different countries and she was preaching the, about the resurrected Lord and she had brought many, many uh, hundreds and thousands of people to uh, Christ because she was filled with love. Her love uh, was just pouring out of her, uh, out of her. I wish we could acquire a little bit of that love that we can love our Lord enough not to want to hurt him through our sins and, and then to follow him and to accept the crosses that the Lord sends us for knowing that the Lord our God is God of love and if he sends us crosses like he even did you know, allow the demons to take her the Mary you know, Madeline and, and, and to torture her until he, resur until he cast them away it was for her own good and this same thing with us we must understand when the enemy attacks us when we are you know, having sick Sicknesses and sorrows and troubles and so on. It is allowed by God only for one purpose, to bring us into the kingdom of heaven. For there is no way to go into the kingdom of heaven except through the sicknesses and sorrows and the struggles. My beloved, we are Christians. As Christians, we must follow the Lord. And he went through this life in, in all kinds of sorrows and all kinds of troubles and finally... As you know, he was crucified because he allowed it to happen. He allowed us to show example that we shouldn't be clinging to this life and to uh, hold on to it and thinking that, well, this is where we're going to live and, uh, and have a great time. My beloved, the apostles were waiting for the Messiah to give them that kingdom of heaven here on earth, to make Israel to be the rulers of the whole world and to have Jesus Christ to be king of the world and set up his government here. But the Lord didn't come for that. He came to show us how to fight the evil one, how to fight the pride. Opposite the pride is the humility. 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 And humility is what we have to acquire to be able to fight the enemy. Humility, a sign of humility is when I and you, every one of us, when we recognize that we are unworthy of God's love and that we are worthy of condemnation because of our sinfulness. And when we acquire a little bit of humility, then we do not dare anymore to ever judge anybody. Every Everybody for us must be looking better than we are. For if we know our depthness of our of our soul and our heart, how it fallen away from the Lord, that we don't have the love that's required from the Lord, that He wants for us to return the love that He gives us, my beloved. That's the beginning of humility, to recognize our sinfulness. If we recognize our sinfulness, then we can truly cry out to the Lord, Lord, have mercy on me. Or, uh, the Lord will hear a cry from our heart if we genuinely consider ourselves as, as sinners and do not judge anybody, leaving the judge judgment only to the Lord himself. St. Mary and Madeline, equal to the apostles, had brought such a 
a joy and uh, such a joy that we continue to have in our hearts knowing that the Lord and Jesus Christ is truly God the creator of the universe that he resurrected himself and uh, that he is coming to us again to resurrect us. Our body here that we have is a temporary shelter that the soul has now. At first it used to, was supposed to be eternal, but because of the fall of our first person, Adam and Eve, then we have to return to the earth. And But then the Lord is going to resurrect us and give us a new body that's going to become eternal. Let's show our love to the Lord that loved us so much enough to die for us and he said there is no greater love than when somebody gives his life for those whom they love and for his neighbor and that's what he did for us and he wants us not as slaves He wouldn't, but he wants us as his sons and daughters and sisters and mothers and brothers all we have to do as he said to love him and to prove of our love of him is it that we will obey his commandments and we will love one another. Amen.